So here we are, 524, 2023. We just had a heck of a clown show today with DeSantis front, uh, running for president, going on Twitter with Elon, and uh, his site couldn't keep up to an audio stream, which I kind of found funny. Um, servers weren't good enough to host audio, but there was people joining by the 50, 50 thousands per like five minutes. Crazy numbers. But um, we had that today. We had NVIDIA earnings, which just completely blew out. So if you look at NVIDIA, it's... Why is my chart showing not after hours? But it's up in the 400 range. I shorted it at like 390. It's like at 382 or something. But anyways just ridiculous on how high it is above its earnings so I expect big profit taking tomorrow on that but what I wanted to show you was the real market um, go back a page here there we go I like looking at the real market because of everything's super clean you have like double top double you know everything's just clean on it clean chart broke this just collapse <clears throat> so what I'm looking at is um, we're, we're coming up here to this point where it was resistance resistance uh, support support broke it checked it broke it checked it and then it turned into support again we went higher came down checked it bounced broke below now we went above it after they printed all the money. Um, of course, inflation came. So this is the, this is the spy divided by inflation. It's actually what I'd consider the real market if you're actually making money. Um, but anyways, um, so yeah, we're coming into this huge resistance line. And we already tested it once. Now we're testing it again. I would expect if we break above this tomorrow and hold above it um, somewhere in here, that's a pretty pretty bullish thing. And uh, what I would be looking at would be this parallel channel right here. I think... I think we would stay in this. Oops. Let me get this right here. This is terrible. Not usually how I draw charts. But I would I would expect to be in this channel. Man. Sorry, I worked a long day today. I usually do that on the first try, not the 50th try. But, um, yeah, we, we break this. I expect to come up to here then. And then we'll have a sharp, sharp decline. So there could be one more bull push. I have my doubts. I think this is a really strong resistance line. So I think today we just pushed up after hours because it's easy. It's a money grab. Every, all the retail goes bullish and then in the morning it just gets wiped out. So that's what I expect to happen. Um, we have all the news in the world to uh, come out and make it however they want it to happen. <clears throat> can play the debt ceiling into the weekend. Um, whatever they want to do. But maybe they'll come out and say they pass something and we run up. Um, but either way, this would be where you'd want to make your move. I'm just kind of neutral right now. I have some 3x ETFs just in case to hedge. So I'll, I might lose some money on the way up. But I can always sell my longs and everything up here and go extremely short. I'll buy puts and everything. If it gets up here, if we come down and double check, which makes sense, um, if 
we stretch this out, if if we get rejected here, I'm I'm looking at this this line, just because it plays out so good with the election. Like you want to be one year ahead of your of the election date, where you're pushing up from the market bottom. So we could go down for the next whole election, the whole election cycle, into the into almost the next one. And it'd be a perfect double bottom. So, something like that. Um, it's just how I see it happening. I don't see anything good where we're going to come up. Have major deflation with a good market. And come up somewhere in here. I just don't. I don't see it unless AI actually makes a difference. But I don't, I don't believe in AI because... I've been dealing with calling like help centers for my last 10 years of life. And every time I have to talk to a person to get my problem solved. So maybe eventually they'll get good enough, but it's going to be years out. Um, I don't see it happening anytime soon. Might take some graphic jobs. I do think eventually India will get destroyed by... Um, the technology of AI and all the call centers they have they're going to lose hundreds of thousands of jobs I would say in their call centers so anyways I just wanted to show uh, where we are with the market um, I kind of got beat up on on uh, some puts some QQ puts I thought thought this AI would sell off a little quicker, but I was wrong. So I'm just noticing here, if we did push up, which at this projection would end up here, we would end up at this top, this break, and this break. So like, and all these resistance signs. So if it does push up, definitely be watching this. It would go straight to that zone for sure. Um, but anyways, that's all I wanted to show.